Welcome back everyone to another edition of Smacked Up Wrestling Podcast. As usual, like we see every episode, leave us a like and a comment what you thought of Smackdown last night. We thought it was great, so let's hear your opinion, what you think of it. Also, check us out on Facebook where you get to see some wrestling news me and Martin like to put up. Leave us a like there. And now, Smacked Up Wrestling is now on Twitter. So if you'd like to follow us, just type in at capital S U W Wrestle. So. Well, first of all, that's Ryan. Right. Second of all, capital letters don't matter. It's uh, S U REST W R E S. I want to keep it short. Right, so S U REST. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, well, fuck that up. With a W. W silent. The W is silent. So. As usual. We'll just put it in the description. I'll make sure he puts in the right one. Don't worry. I know. I, I think I done it in the description last night. I think I did. Oh, yeah, I did. So, <laughs> as usual, the show is brought by yourself, Will, myself, and the glorious one, Martin. How are you keeping? I'm not bad. I mean, it's been a whole, like, 17 hours since the last time I managed to make one of these. Yeah. And also... Fuck it. And, 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 and it's like we... We didn't play Titanfall last night at all. Which is no. brilliant, people. Fucking buy it. Um, don't play fucking Battlefield. Go and buy that. It's fucking that good. Aye. <laughs> buy a fun game. Games are meant to be fun. Do Mate, you know what isn't fun? World War One. Mate, I went back on it last night. Um, say about one o'clock. Uh, and oh, I had a couple of games. Loved it still. Still love it. It's just so fun. Um... But let's get the SmackDown. Um, the last wrestling show um, for us to talk about before Christmas. And we had a good wrestling pay-per-view. Um, then we had one of the most fucking diabolical Raws ever. But last night, SmackDown proved once again it is the better brand. It is the better oh, brand to Here's watch. a question, mm-hmm. by the way. Yeah. Given the time of year it is. Where's the fucking Slammy Award? Oh shit, that should have been done. That's a good point, unless they pull them out of their arse after the new year. I was expecting it to be like a raw exclusive because it's just a fast way to fill in three years. No. Bring back the fucking Slammies, it was fun. I wouldn't bring them back for raw. (laughs) Just raw needs anything to change the format and keep it fresh. Mate, anything um, and since they've scrapped the retro rows which were another highlight I enjoyed that I enjoyed the old school rows see the thing is see last Everybody see last night's Smackdown they could have cancelled that show and it was still been better than fucking Raw aye that's 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 how bad that show was I don't think we stressed how bad it was Smackdown we hoped was going to bring back what we all love was good wrestling one there was one bad se- one bad segment throughout the full night. One, whereas that raw was Aye. just a cluster. Usual fuck. suspect. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. I just wrote bad next to it. I didn't even fucking go into detail. Just <laughs> bad. Um. What is this? But no. Just a wee picture as a lander being outraged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fucking. It's just. So it was on me. I, I just cringed when I was watching that part. But apart from that. Everything else was solid. I really enjoyed it. And I'm happy to get that feeling back again um, where we come on for a, a podcast. We're happy to talk about it compared to when we come on and we're fucking raging. We've got to talk about shite. And it I'm, just, I'm always tempted to turn this into the Smackdown podcast. It's, rather than Smacked Up. I mean, I mean, how many... If you go through the podcast, I think there's only... One or two, we've really criticised SmackDown. But apart from that, it's been consistent. SmackDown's been the better show. Uh, and even when it has been bad, I mean, with the exception of the Glasgow show, even when yeah. it's been bad, there's still been demon qualities. Yeah, that's it. And it's just, um, like, last week's Raw was good. And it's like, what the fuck did you do? What did you do? I know, they had a, a nice show? two, three week run of entertaining people. And then they remembered they were Raw. Or at least that's that's what it seems like to me. Yeah, they're not the best show. Um, but we start off SmackDown with the World Title uh, Championship up for grabs, which was perfectly booked. It was brilliant, absolutely perfect. People, 
people can criticise this all they want. They don't want to see uh, James Ellsworth, right? Okay, everybody's entitled to their opinion. But the way they done it was brilliant. It was just AJ had to destroy him within a couple of minutes. He had to, the way they done it, and then just destroyed him outside. Loved it. Done it brilliantly. Um, there's not really much else you can say about that match because it was just a squash. The champion had to do it. Um, but then you had Ziggler. Aye. Ziggler come out and Baron Corbin arguing who should go for Sorry. that title. Boring cunt bin. Boring, Boring cunt, bin. cunt bin. That's his new name for this week. Yes. Hashtag it, mate. I'm trying to make him interesting. Hashtag, Hashtag cunt bin. Already WWE officials have listened to us when we were talking about that. Hide that belly. Hide the belly. And he's, since the first episode, the first, this is now 31 episodes, by the way. So if you go back 30 episodes... The first thing we spoke about in the first one, gonna cover that guy's belly. It looks like a face. So they listened. It's sentient. I'm convinced yet. That's why it looks annoyed all the time because it woke up one day going, no, I'm an unusual life form. Oh my God, what am I attached to? One thing I will and see. It's never been happy. See, thing. see the end of days he done in Ziggler, mate. It's fucking good. Ziggler, mm. wow. But then again, it's Ziggler. Here's the thing about that finisher, right? No matter how well he does it, it looks like he's taking a rock bottom. Yeah, it is. It's just like a spin it out, like a... So, what happens if he gets put in the ring with the rock, and the rock gives him the rock bottom? Did I, did I tell you the commentators will get confused? I bet you'd never, tell you. never see the rock with him. Never. The rock Aye, just... I wouldn't have thought they'd seen the rock with Eric Brown, but look at WrestleMania. I bet that guy's better than Baron Corbin, mate. Then again, fuck yeah, you. absolutely is, but I would never have predicted it. So we kind of like get the a quick, nice segment to start the night, so we know where we're going with the show, and Aye. instead of another born segment to go right after it, just straight into an IC title match. And I think this is yeah. the, I think this is to this is the day we tribute to the troops where this has came from. Um. So you had the Miss versus Apollo Crews. Fuck, he was back in television. Mm-hmm. Um, solid match, mate. There was nothing you can complain about this. Crews really. took advantage of the opportunity he had and Miz made him look great. It was really good. It's exactly what you expect for the Miz. Really good. But, um, I mean, there's, there's, I've, I've written in my notes, Crews did everything right and Miz did everything he could to make him look great. There's just something no quite... There's clicking something with Cruz. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you're watching him. He's got the bags of bags of talent, and then it's just like, but oh, why? You can't he, dispute with his ending stuff. He, he looks a, good. Something that's not sitting there. It's like it's, mm. I cannot put my finger on it, and I have nothing against the guy at all. I think he's fantastic, and a, he's had a a bad year. He's been horribly misused and brought up far too early. But there's just something there or rather something not there and I, I really I, I just I cannot figure it out it's not like another wrestler where the promos are weak and they can go in the ring because you can get you know if, if the guy's good enough that's not really a problem yeah but there's just there's something not sitting right and I, I cannot place it and it's frustrating the hell at me because he never put a foot wrong last night. No, that that's the thing. The guy, the guy's done really well since <clears throat> like coming to WWE. Like you said, it's just been bad booking. Um, it's just I don't know what his mean, personality. He just had a wee bit longer for his promo work. Yeah, uh, he's not got a character really. He's just another happy smiling baby face. Uncle Tom. Yeah, that's it. There's just. What what I think. The I don't mean done. that the racist way. I mean like you know Vince uses black yeah. guys as uncle. Fucking tall. It's like the only difference between him and the other ones is he doesn't shock and jive. The the thing but I've got a horrible feeling it's a matter of time. See if just say for talking to me, which I think could have benefited them. Um now there was always a rumour like they knew they might have another person. They might that daft rumour you always hear, but it's never gonna come true. He, he wouldn't fit in there. See that he's, no, he's too serious. That was the thing. This, this is a, this is part of the problem, right? They've got him being this smiling, happy guy. I don't think they should be doing that. Well, he's no good at it. Well, see, that's what I was. I was see, gonna, I was... if they made him just a serious guy, 
I think we'd see a big difference in him. Because that's, that's what I was going to agree with you on. I mean, I've seen this a couple of times, like people said, why don't keep him wrong putting the New Day? The thing with the New Day is, the three of them have got their own personality and it shows he's just a smiling guy. Um, exactly. The, the, the thing I'd love to see, it's too, far too early just now, but see if he became a heel, he'd be a good heel. Um, but but then as it, long as he stops smiling. He's got to stop smiling. But apart from that, mate, I, I, I love the match. The match was really And I know good. they don't... I know it's like uh, not really a name that people like to bring up, but see if they put him in a sort of Benoit style character where he, he can have the odd wee cheeky comment here and there, but he keeps a straight face on, he goes in the ring, he batters people, he gets out the ring. Yeah, like... I, I just don't have him. Worry what? about the promos... Nothing to do with that, just have him keep a straight face, batter people in that sort of Benoit angle way. When Angle was put in ECW, you know, you get the wee uh, mouth guard and he just battered people and left. Just just a wrestling machine, I think that would be perfect. Aye, because he's absolutely got the talent and the strength to do that. Absolutely perfect. And yeah. see that sort of, almost like the same sort of build as Taz, you know? yeah. Short, stocky, well built, can throw people about that are bigger than him. Just have him do that. Don't have him be all happy and easy going. Put him in there, make him serious. I think that will help him a lot. I hope next year. I hope next year we do see a lot more good things for him. Um, he is. He's great to watch. It's just like you said. It's a shame how he's been booked. But again, there's no really a character there. You just know it's a Paul Cruise that smiles. Yeah. Um, exactly. What I did like after the match, mate, and this has been, it is out there that Renee Young and Dean Ambrose is dating. It, it's out there, but this is like the first time on the wrestling side that I know he's in, I know he's made an appearance in Total Divas now, but this is like the mm-hmm. first wrestling side now where they've now made mention that uh, Renee and Dean is an item. When they've two have kind of kept, yeah, because he's quite a quiet guy. He doesn't like anybody know his personal business. Um, I know, and he was he wasn't really thrilled about the total divas thing, but you know he's a company guy. He's, he's going to do the best he's, he can. He's, for, got, he's for got his job. And I just I, I found that I found it strange how it came across. I found it strange it came up, but at the same time, I liked who'd done it because the Miz yes. and Maurice would be the only pe- people on if you take SmackDown who are on total divas cousin and Maurice. They're the best people to bring it up, and you can tell they're going. Oh, absolutely! They're going to do a feud for the IC belt going into Rumble, and it's going to be there too, which I've got no Aye. problems with. And this gives Marie something to do, yes. Instead of just interfering occasionally, she's actually going to have somebody who can bounce off. Now. I mean, obviously, Renee doesn't wrestle, but she can probably do a bump or two, just like every other commentator slash interviewer. Well, I like, like of any note. I like how Renee, the way she done it, and just. She slapped him, didn't she? Aye, she slapped him yeah. in the face. She left the ring and she went over to the timekeeper's bit. But the best part about all of it, the commentator's faces, because the camera cut to them and they were just perfect. The, 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 just like, oh, fuck, did he actually say that? Oh, that, God. That, I mean, and it's, <laughs> and it's like Renee is usually that she's always the happy one on the shows. She's a brilliant mm-hmm. interviewer, brilliant uh, caller. She can act. Aye. She's had a lot of comedy training as well because she was actually started off as an actress before getting into interviewing and doing sports stuff. Yeah. Because she was actually a WWE fan. She uh, knows her shit. She worked with uh, Morrow and I'm trying to remember what the guy's real name is. Arda Okal was his Canadian name. He worked, he works or did work for WWE presenting like the B shows, you know, the highlight shows. Mm-hmm. He changed his name to something, you know, less foreign sounding and they did a show a post raw game show which basically talking smack ripped off um where they'd go over what happened that night and blah 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 and that's what ended up you know leading to WWE signing her the mate she's which I again like. is why she's so good at her job I really like her I think because she brilliant. actually likes it aye I like her she she's is. brilliant and she looks fantastic oh she does Dean Ambrose is a lucky bastard she's really gorgeous aye uh, so absolutely then we get, this is the bad segment. This is really a fucking horrible segment, which I didn't care about. I think the crowd right. didn't care about. I absolutely agree. But see, having Natty 
officially be a heel. Oh, no, you I'm could cool see with... the difference in her immediately. Oh, I'm happy with her she being went a heel. Through... Well, see even how she was talking at the start of that, that segment, she was still teed her usual sort of, I'm clearly acting. See the very second that she turns around to Nikki and starts admitting everything she did, she just loosened right up. Oh, she was brilliant. You can st- tell she prefers being a baddie. Aye, and the stuff she was saying about, oh, the silicons went to your brain, my cat's got more charisma than you. Oh, it was brilliant. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. The fact Camelli got put through all their presents. Brilliant. you done something we yes. all wanted. Uh, the crowd... Nah, he's a heel at last. She should have been a heel all along. The She's crowd, great at being a heel. The crowd didn't really buy into it. I didn't really buy into it. The thing I took away happy from it was, nah, he's a heel, which she should have been since she went there. It's okay when yes. she's done. She was quite daft being that silly character when she is a serious wrestler. Um, and the women. You remember vision. she's went from farting to managing a tag team to quoting song lyrics. Nothing yeah. of that worked. Yeah. She needed to be a baddie all this time. She's finally got the chance to do it again. I don't think she's been a baddie since she debuted. No, I should with the new Heart Foundation. That's right. No, because she was a heel then, which was about nearly ten years ago. Um, but, feels like it at least. Yeah, but no, I'm happy. I'm happy with that side. But it's just a bad segment. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what Natty does from now on. I'm just happy. I'll definitely be keeping an eye. I'm just happy it keeps Nikki Bella away for that fucking title. Just now, happy with. It. She's um, not going anywhere. I know. Happy with that. I tell you. I'm not too sure um, if it was after that. Did we have the segment for Alexa and Daniel? The segment with Alexa and Debray. And I, my only note for this right was, I love her. I, mean, and I don't just mean her. I mean everything she does as a character. I love that. See as well. her reaction to Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Like there's something about how she conveys her emotions. Yeah. And I don't really want to use the word because I'll end up giggling. But her facials. Yes. <laughs> um, are spot on. She was like, really. When she, she comes really in there, me. she's all happy and smiling. And Dee uh, Bry says to her, well, you're going to have a the match. Leg, the leg is really sore, I can't do that. And, oh, it was brilliant. And she's smiling, and Brian says, you're going to have the match, and her face slowly drops, and, plus and it, then slowly goes into a grimace. And, I'm and a, then she unleashes a rage. <laughs> am, am I right in saying the woman's title's back on the line next week as well? Yes, because next week is wild card week. A where real... people who have either ran out of chances or wouldn't normally get a chance at a title shot get a title shot, which is why we're getting Ziggler and AJ. I really, I really like... And originally it was supposed to be Ryder and Mojo challenging the Wyatts, but that horrible injury, and yes. I, I sympathise completely with Zach. First of all, shouldn't you block me on Twitter, son? This is what happens. Second of all, I did the same injury last year. It's, with my knee popping out and popping back in. Yeah, it's a bad injury. So what we've got now... Terrible. Uh, we've got like all the tag teams basically going after the championship now. What's left of the tag teams. Mm-hmm. Um, but is Mojo no with... Uh, no, is Rhino, st- is Rhino in it still? He wasn't there last week. No, 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 no. I mean in the picture they showed. I couldn't see for the life of me. I can't remember the picture. You know, I honestly didn't really pay attention. It just pay seemed attention. like, you know, there's, I, 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 there's four teams, the uh, tag team, ch- and I was like, oh, that'd be good. And see, I, I totally didn't see if he was there, but no, I, I think it'll be good. Uh, next week's SmackDown would be really solid. The I mean, they're lucky that they've got such good teams so that they can cover. Yes. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, it took me about eight months to get over the knee thing. Zach is like a super in shape, well built athlete. I would expect him to do about half that time. Yeah, um, he'll come. He'll come back, and he'll get a. He'll still get a big pop. Um, he, to see how it goes. Uh, so this is like a chance uh, for Mojo to really step it up, so to speak. Well, I was going to say. I know we're jumping ahead a little here, but when Mojo had his backstage segment with Ryan Philippe, which is how you see his name, I know they. Ch- I think they've. For some reason, they keep introducing him as Ryan Philippe. It's Philippe. And I think it's because it's Philippe, and I think he's changed it because it sounded too French and no Americans like the French. You know, like how here we had Darius Dinesh, yes. who now suddenly found out his surname's Campbell? <laughs> There's no Campbell, mate. My family's like Hoff Campbell. You look nothing like anybody in my family. 
your surname's no Campbell. Obviously, he's changed it because he sounded too Arabic for the mainstream. Because, you know, if anybody's going to make a comeback, it's Darius. But anyway, Ryan Philippe was there because Randy was on his TV show. The shooter or something. The shooter or but something, when yeah. Mojo did that backstage segment with him and wasn't shouting for the first time ever, it he actually did a good promo. he done a good promo. The match with Kurt Hawkins, I know we've jumped right ahead, but the match with Kurt Hawkins was okay. Um, it just, you just have to wait and see. Cut off. Just, he's, like he's, the fuck that up so much, you haven't got names. I either fucked it all up. Um, but no, it's, it's, it'll be, it'll be very good. No. It'll be interesting to right, see. Back to where we were. Yeah, I'll, I'll just to finish that part, because right. we'll just, uh, we'll just glaze over that bit when, it, when I go past it, my notes. But it'll be interesting to see what he's going to do now, because now he's basically a singles competitor, um, which will be mm-hmm. good for the sake of. There's another mid card just now. I'm not saying put him anywhere near the no, title, he experience. but he needs experience now, so this will be good for him. But we had a solid match with Dean Ambrose and Luke Harper. I really enjoyed Aye. it. Really enjoyed it. Yes. This one, it didn't really matter who went over, um, in my opinion, because the two of them are as good as each other. The two of them wrestled quite a lot with C- uh, CWZ, and the two of them trust each other. Uh, I'd like to have seen Luke get a victory because he's no goat one for the last wee while, but at the same time, Dean having the victory as well, he needed something coming back off from the end of TLC. Yes. Um, and also losing and the it's IC. It's really obvious the that they're building them up for the IC belt, of course. Yeah. Um, so, after the match, the Wyatts, and then include Randy, and the Wyatts battered fuck up. Yes. And then left. And then Miz comes out with his shit eating grin and batters fuck at him. Yep. And kisses Maurice just to get extra heat and leaves. Yep. Perfect. It was Perfect really, really well done. Don't see enough of that. It was really well done. Don't see enough of that. Um, Do you know, I'm going to make the comparison again, as I said, I think a couple of months ago now. Um, Smackdown's taking the Raw's War model from 99 2000. They haven't taken the wrestling, thankfully. They've taken the model that anything can happen at any time and restored the unpredictability. Yes. So you get your 10-minute matches, maybe, or sometimes less. They always end in some kind of bullshit way or something that progresses the storyline in the case of the next segment. And then your main events are a wee bit longer than the rest of them. But it, it moves so quickly, and I mean that in a good way. You never feel like you're watching SmackDown for two hours. No, it was... You get your 10-minute promo to open, not 20 minute, 10 minute, and all in this case it was a match, quick promo with another match. It keeps moving, and something's always happening, and something's always tying into the bigger picture. The I, I was happy with the way it ended, mate. Um, I just, you know, uh, with him being the heel, with the heat is going to uh, thing me up. The Wyatts, just, I just love the way the Wyatts are just now with Andy Orton. Uh, the next mm. match, I was... Quite surprised because you had Alexa come out. Well, obviously, it's cut from a break, and Aye. we have standing in the in ring. ring. <laughs> uh, I've wrote it down. It was definitely not Becky Lynch in a mask. Definitely not. But it's like it was like. Remember when uh, Cat, uh, Mister America wasn't Hulk Hogan? One Cena. One Cena. Definitely was the John Cena. Um, By the way, can I just say about that that one Cena thing? You ever heard the remix? His music. No, I never heard. Because he's just like a fucking Mexican band in the trumpets. Uh, I've got to hear it. I've got to hear it. I never... Because they've done it for a lot of house shows. Like fucking like a caracha, we're rapping. They've done it for a lot of house shows. I'm going to have to check it out. Um, they played it in Raw a couple of times. Did they? <laughs> uh, this, oh. ma- this match was okay. Because um, it was just... like it was just Did what they needed to do. The crowd were into it. JBL. Again. Right. I don't know what it is about the guy. But... He knows exactly how to push the envelope in just the right way because he started saying, Look at this Luchadora's purple head. And then making jokes related to it. It was red as But it? subtle ones, <laughs> like how you'd have Oh. I bet it's even more purple underneath it and stuff like that. It was, it was so <laughs> funny. It was a funny match to watch. Um, but it was, and the crowd were into it. The crowd, see, the crowd see, loved it. See. No, I mean, the crowd absolutely then, loved it. And it gave like, it, it... Obviously, like, the Luchadora wins and goes crazy and runs over to the announce desk 
and starts like hugging them and all that. And then you, all you heard was JBL shout, "That's the first time you've ever been hugged by a woman, Moro." <laughs> I think I think what gave it away that it was Becky was the the kind of finisher, the size of her, the, the, no, the finisher, and the finisher, the finisher, and, and her I, voice, and whenever uh, she was shouting, and I was like. That's Becky. And I just loved it. And then when she takes it off and it's like, I've got your number. I really enjoyed it. I'm enjoying their feud. Um, and it sets up next week's wild card match yeah, for the I, women's title. I don't mind. Becky and Alexa. I don't mind who wins it because I'm really enjoying it too. It's not like with Sasha and Charlotte. Um, well, exactly. One's pandering to the other like we've seen in Raw. It's just the two of them have heat with each other. It's brilliant. You can get behind it. And last night was a funny way how to get under the champion skin. Loved it. Absolutely loved Aye. it. Before the main uh, event... Just, oh, sorry, on you go. Sorry, after that was the Mojo Hawkins bit, and for the second week in a row, Morrow referred to him as Chad Hawkins. That just sums up Kurt Hawkins. Yes. When your lead commentator, who's shit hot at his job, can he get your name right? The, the segment... That means... You're in trouble. You're in trouble. The segment yeah. before the, the main event, though, um, I found quite interesting um, with James Ellsworth. Badly um, wrapped up as usual. Again, this is what I'm talking <laughs> about with SmackDown. Everything's always progressing. Yeah. Um, One thing finished for Ellsworth, another thing's been set up immediately. Yeah. He, he's Obviously, he's done, he's done completely with the AJ thing. That's done now. And who comes out to make sure he's all right? Carmella. Which I thought was very odd, but it's like, well, she's kind of... I could see her trying to use him to try and get... See that way it's, I'll use your popularity to get higher. Which I think would be cool. Well, it's not even just that, you know what? They're going to end up using him, because obviously Cena's back next week. Yes. And Carmella's still kind of getting it Nikki. So what's going to be funnier than getting this wee reprobate with each in to go up against the man? I know. Even just for a week, you uh, know, just for a segment next week, I'll um, do. Just have him, have him be like WWE's Kenny, where he gets a battering every week and ends up in the. Because that's what's been happening. He always ends up in like casts and bandages yeah. every week now. I thought, I thought it was so really do that. good. The main event, the main event was Ziggler and Corbin was solid, right. but it was because of Ziggler. It was the complete opposite of every other match they've had. Which was fucking dire. Yes, and uh, it was me. Really good. That this was good. Yes, it was really good. Um, I really the spots they took, how they put in their move sets with each other. I'll have to give Corbin credit because they actually that was the first time since watching them since he's came on the main roster. It's like you had a good match. Every other one has been piss poor, but that was a good match. Um, so fair play to him. The ending I loved, absolutely loved it, and it's just. It obviously sets up for next week um, with the count out yeah. and him throwing Ziggler and AJ and AJ just snaps, mm-hmm. which I'm cool with. Um, yes. I'm cool with AJ. This is great. AJ's turned into a monster. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I love Hugh AJ, so it's like just go after him with chairs. It was a great ending to the show. Overall, SmackDown saved WWE this week because... Again. It, well, again, yeah. Um, because we had a worry about last night. Could SmackDown really fix what Raw did? And like, like I said at the start, mate, they could have cancelled SmackDown, and it was still a better show than Raw. And thank fuck, Aye. we actually got to see it because it was really, really well done. Really well done. Um, there's no a lot of bad points to take away from it. Just a horrible, a horrible segment which came with something good at the end. Um. The only thing I noticed as well, no tag team matches this week, which was refreshing. Well, next week I make up for that with this movie. <laughs> no, um, so no, but I was really happy with it, mate. Uh, See, that's the other thing. Like next week's been treated as a sort of mini pay per view as well. These are going to be decent length matches. Yes, that make the titles mean something. Yes, because they've got they've got we've got what six weeks to the rumble, and in a uh, SmackDown pay per view, just after New Year. So we're going to have to get something to t- fill in the time and smack them. Well, I was actually going to say about that. I'm not sure if that's still happening now because we've not seen anything advertised oh, and they're doing good, this thing next week. Good point. They might just scrap it and just leave it to the rumble. Because um, we know they're doing less pay-per-views for 2017. Thank fuck. Yep. Um, so this might be one of them that's out and then we're going to just have both of them 
the six week build up to the rumble, which I would personally prefer, to be honest with you. I would prefer it, mate. I mean, it's better for build story. I know people might oh no, I've been enjoying the pay per views, but I like it. Build up the story so then you know, because like, this is a road to WrestleMania now. Um, get the rumble out the road, set up what we know it's going to happen, then you have the two pay per views before Mania. And then yeah. that's it. We're in. We're in. That's that's us doing to the how many days it is, and which is going to be brilliant. And I'm looking for. I'm really looking forward to see SmackDown next week. Raw can they give two fucks about? I really can't give two fucks about just now, unless they pull a fucking rabbit out their ass. Um, it's aye. It's really going to do. No, it's going to be horrendous for the, the rabbit next left week. Fucking Adam Rose. It's going to be bad for six weeks if they don't fix this. Um, whereas SmackDown done the right. The other thing is, if they're going to have both shows going six weeks with a show, like a big show, then obviously as viewers we're going to see it. But will WWE actually see the gulf in quality? Doubt it, mate. If they're going to be running equally like that, really I, doubt it. Uh, just how how could you not? You know? No, I know, I know. I think let's put it this way. Um, I know the viewer, uh, like the the view ratings. I know they don't really count new anywhere in America because a lot of it is streamed or anything like that. So it's not like what it used to be. But I'd be interested to see what Raw got and SmackDown got, um, because I can guarantee you the bad parts of Raw, people that just tuned off. And a lot of people we've all spoke to or anything like that or we've seen on Twitter. I have je- really uh, really said uh, like the highlights. Oh, I've watched the highlights, which is on sh- on YouTube, so it's got nothing to do with WWE, uh, WWE. And the fact, like we said as well about the people leaving um, during a Kevin Owens Roman Reigns match and a uh, um, uh, house shows, it's, they've got to see something's wrong with the Raw brand. Something's really wrong, and Aye. they've got to fix it. Um, because Raw is still the main wrestling show. That will always be the main wrestling show. And they've got the bigger talent. But for some fucking reason, they cannot make them click. Where I know, story like, I know. They just can't I, I do don't it. get it. Um, Whereas SmackDown has a lot of less people. And apart from, like I said... Making the most of what they have. Yeah, apart from two shows from since we started this podcast. Consistently, and this is the 34th episode, yeah, by the way. Consistently good every week. Every week, so it'll be interesting, be really interesting. But I don't really think there's anything else. Um, no, it's been quiet, and it's because of the time of year. The only, I mean, the only thing I see like in the next two weeks, we've obviously got Christmas and New Year, but two weeks today is Wrestle Kingdom, mm-hmm. which you're gonna watch. Yes, I. You like it a fucking not? This is Japan's WrestleMania. It's going to be crazy. Cody Rhodes has joined the Bullet Club. Kenny Omega's in the main event for the IWGP World Title against uh, Akada, which is going to be probably match of the year. Four days into the year. Remember you telling me about? I'm no kidding. What date? What date is it on? The fourth. The fourth. The day I get, I yes, start my physio. It works out about eight in the morning for us. Right. It's going to be weird having a pay-per-view on that is near fucking 3 in the AM, eh? That'll be weird. Um, that's cool. Even if I, well, I, I'll have to watch it probably at the Don't end of the watch night. watch it live. It's going to be hard to see it live unless we pay for NJPW World. Oh, fuck that. I'll just wait till, you, I'll wait till you find a link and then I'll watch it. <laughs> I'll be that afternoon, honestly. That's all right. Because um, I, know, I know you'd like to talk about it. Um, so... Oh, I can't wait for it. So everybody, that's that's been the SmackDown review. Really good show. I hope people have seen the same. Like I said, as always, leave us a comment in the section. Tell us what you thought of it. Um, where do you see the storylines going up to the Royal Rumble? And as usual, go over to Facebook. You can do the exact same there. Follow us there. Also, I'll try and get this right, Martin. Follow us on Twitter at SU Wrestle. You fucked it. S-U wrestle. S-U rest. S-U-W-R-E-S. I need that fucking Ian. 
Mate, you just deal with the Twitter side. Fucking hell, man. I fucking don't even know the Twitter. <laughs> I would have been busy for duty in the video descriptions. I'll get it. I always get it right in the video description. I just fucking can't get it right here. Fucking hell. How professional are we? Um, so, Not everyone. Very at all. No, I'm fucking terrible at it, mate. So, everyone, thank you for once again listening to Smacked Up Wrestling Podcast. I hope you have a really good Christmas and Sunday. Happy holidays, everyone. And this is, <clears throat> I've been well. And I don't even have anything lined up because I've just been such a weird week having that dross on Monday. So I guess you could say I'm just disgusted but in ha- general. But you're happy now. You're happy now. Uh, happy because there's a break. We need a happy Martin to go out for the, the Christmas show. We need a happy Martin. We've got no presents to throw in anybody in here. We could throw Ron to presents. Uh, that would just be mean. You're right, and he's flushed in the fucking pan. Um, so everybody, Aye, there's a present, <laughs> there's the a present in the box. So everybody... That's why we need sound effects. Ah, oh, I know, I know. It's been... That's what I want for my Christmas sound effects. <laughs> get your wee, get your wee pad where you can just press buttons. Toilet well, flush, the side show Bob break noise. <laughs> I'll get you something, mate. Everybody, thank you for listening. Have a good Christmas and happy holidays, and we'll see you. Um, next Tuesday when we're back hopefully with a good draw we can talk about it instead of being pissed off at it. Everybody, thank you so much. Spoiler alert, probably not. Uh, Yeah, it'll be still bad. Thank you again, everybody. Cheerio.